Well, this is the um, semi-completed prototype for the pantograph, what's really called the panta router. It's a copying device which allows you to uh, use a stylus and a, uh, a rotary router, in this case a Dremel roto tool. And it's a parallelogram with a frame and constraints such that when you move the stylus, the router moves in the same pattern um, with XY coordinates that are uh, divided by two. So this essentially gives you a 50% reduction in the size of the letter that you're copying. I've done this one with uh, mahogany inlay. I used the router uh, exacto knife and simply traced the uh, pattern on the on the wood and then routed out the um, trench, filled the trench with uh, a fine mahogany dust and impregnated it with um, CA glue and then sanded it and finished it. So while it looks like a painted surface, it's actually an inlaid. I've done the same thing with a, uh, a 13 over here, but this is not finished. This has simply had the um, trench cut, the impregnated uh, miter, the dust has been, the mahogany dust has been put in and then simply been sanded but not finished. And this was done by hand. It takes about 45 minutes um, to an hour to do something like that. But in this case, simply moving the stylus in the pattern, careful pattern, moves the uh, router in the same dimensions, again with a 50% reduction in size, and it actually will do three-dimensional figures because the back of the gantry, or th this is the gantry for the uh, moto tool, but the back gantry actually lifts, lifts up and swivels so that you can actually do a three-dimensional diagram or three-dimensional shape and the router tip follows exactly in the X, Y and the uh, vertical uh, axis when you're carving. So the, um, the pantograph is uh, ready for testing and I have to uh, play with it and maybe uh, oil or grease up a few things so that it works properly but um, It'll certainly be faster than carving by hand.